this is a short video on distribution of primes. Today, we're going to say that uh, the gap between two prime numbers could be arbitrarily big because there is a big gap, um, you know, between two successive prime numbers. So let's see why that is the case. When we look at the first few prime number, so the gap is actually it's getting bigger when, uh, for example, it's, uh, you know, from 89, the next one is 97, the gap is bigger. Earlier, the gap is just one, you know. So as number getting bigger, maybe the gap you would imagine could be could be bigger. But how big can it be? We can say that the gap should be as big as possible. So now we notice that uh, n factorial, right? So n factorial is actually one times two times up to n. So notice that all the numbers smaller than n is going to be a factor of n factorial as a number. And of course, if you add k itself, it's going to be a, a factor also. So in other words, for all k, right, k in this range, smaller than n, greater or equal to 2, is going to be a factor of this. So these are all composite number. All right. So and they're consecutive. In other words, given n, we can construct n consecutive composite numbers. So for example, let's say n equal 12, right? Let's do it. You know, I use a program to factor the 12 factorial is actually this big number here. Yeah. You add 1, 2, 3, up to 12. So you're going to get, uh, you know, this 12 numbers here. And they're all composite, you know, and this is actually their um, prime um, factorization, right? So they're all composite. So what we have shown so far is that uh, we have what is called a constructive proof of the fact that the gap of two prime number could be actually big. So for a given n, no matter how big that is, I can construct n consecutive composite numbers. So the gap could be as big as n. All right, that's concludes the proof. Of course, the gap is not guaranteed to be always be big, right? There is, um, we know that there are what is called twin numbers. In other words, the two numbers is actually difference of two. And there's a twin number conjecture saying that there are infinite many twin numbers, uh, twin prime numbers, right? So which is not proven, but right now is a conjecture here, right? So here, one of the, the smaller ones would be like, like these numbers here. But for the bigger ones, this is the largest long um, number here, you know, for the uh, uh, twin and um, prime numbers, right? So I think, um, you know, just a quick fact about uh, prime number gap. I hope you enjoy the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.